Hello again guys, Kelly from Kells Aquariums. Just doing a bit of sump upgrading. So I just moved my glow gun I actually using it. Um I'm just building myself some baskets out of just some white egg crate. I've got white and black. I've just had it for ages. I've done loads of other stuff with it over the years. Because my sump's white, I thought I'd use the white. Just in my garage doing a bit of action. So um yeah, just built that. It's about the right size. It's a little bit shorter because the way the sump is, the the lip, it's got like a lip on one side, so to get it in, it needs to be a bit short unless you want to have to mess about and I don't. So I've got a plan for that. I'll show you it all in a minute. I'm just about to make it a bit taller. Because in my mechanical stage, it goes through two fil uh, three filter socks. And then currently it just goes through a pad and some then through some Japanese matting and then into the biological chambers, which again we'll look at in a minute. But what I want it to do is go through some like um, bio mech. You know, like it, I've got a lot of EAM, subs, uh, EAM mech and EAM bio mech, and it's just sat in bags. So what I'm going to do is build this so it goes through my filter socks, then into this, then to the pads. And then with this being in a crate, I'll just be able to take it out, wash it when I need to, back in. Because I change the pad every week. This will also keep the pad where I want it, because it will push it against the Japanese matting. And yeah, just a bit of egg crate cut and a few little tar wraps. Just cutting them with them and then uh, off we go so I'll be back in a bit so built a big media basket it's got handles so you can pull it out <laughs> and it's solid I mean, it's solid as a rock <laughs> that's a dickhead like a monkey just smashing it to bits and it's only held on with tar wraps real little tar wraps as you can see but it's solid it doesn't really move that's me trying to you can't actually move it left or right, it doesn't, dis you know, distort, it doesn't misshape. So, in theory, we're done. I'm going to go and fill it up. Well, I say fill it up. I've got enough stuff to fill up the first section out and already in the sump. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll put some more stuff at the top. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah, little cheeky basket. It's hard to actually see what I've done when it's against a... It's a when it's against white and it's white <laughs> but yeah just a little hole in it just to use to two handles and uh, off we go hello so all we've got here so far just gonna I ain't quite sat right yet but is loads of ER mech which is rubbish for biological well it ain't rubbish it'll all coat but it's real hard it's, there's no porous it, there's no porosity so you don't get anything on the inside. Now this stuff is a little bit better. This is Eon Bio Mech and it's fully seeded. Uh, you know, that's been in my thing for years. There's some Substrat Pro in there. Uh, this is all just going to be used basically. I mean it will hold some biological media but this is all mechanical. We'll go through the full sump in a minute. But yeah, I'm well, just showing you how it's going to sit. So as you can see, a big bag of that. You know, loads of that. That's that'd be two full trays in any um, um, what's its face? Eco Pro th 300, whichever the big one is. So that'd be two full trays of that, and this would be another two full trays of actual biological what comes with that. Even though it's not the best, it's not bad at all. So there's going to be quite a lot just in this tray. I mean, I'm just going to give you a little look, but oh, look at all that bio on Maxi. Oh, it's ridiculous. But I'm just going to do it now, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, so semi back in the saddle. I'm going to do a proper video on this later, but this is just a bit of one just on this uh, thing we've just been building. So as you can see, there is a big crate, just holds all that biological. Then there's the pad, which uh, just makes sure nout gets into here, or not much gets into here. Um, but yeah, I mean, they make sure not much gets into here either. There's three of them to go through, three uh, pads which need replacing very soon. Or at least this one does. I always do after a clean. You clean your tank and then you stare up all the muck and then it collects loads in these. But yeah, so that's the idea. It goes through the three pad the three uh, socks there. So two in that back section, then they go into this final one. Through all this bio mechanical, so it's mostly mechanical, then through a, a fan pad, and then just in case anything does get through, it gets caught up in this um, Japanese matting, which is also pretty good um, biological. Because I mean it's just I mean, it, it does the job 
However, it's nothing compared with the big moving bed and the about five kilos, is it five or I think five kilos of Bio Maxi Ultimate. And then I've got a couple of kilos of just Bio Home General, uh, I think that's just Ultra. Then there's Sipper Axe and all the other action in there. But yeah, there's there's a lot in there. <laughs> I think all in, we've oh, got about 15 kilos of, of gear in and then a moving bed. <laughs> so we're going well. So anyway, that's just a quick tray for the sump. We'll do a video on this tank and the sump later. So we'll do a full, full action. But yeah, seems to be running good. As I said, I've put some handles in up there so you can just, and out she comes. But yeah, I'm quite happy. So, oh, nearly bend it then. <laughs> well, I fell. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.